Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy, Roth, and uh, it's going to get up to close to 60 today. Clouds and rain again. We could set a, a record, record 64 for today. So wow. we will see. Uh, Candy, you are officially a piece of work. Let me tell you. <laughs> laughing. I entertain you. Oh, off the air, laughing hysterical. <laughs> Candy, this is, let me, let me show you. Here's what she does. We're off the air. There's music playing. Our listeners are enjoying fantastic music on their drive to work. Yes. And Candy says, shh, listen, I got to tell you, this is not for air. I got to tell you something. Mm-hmm. My uh, my son, KC and Jackie, you know, with the new baby. Yes, yes, your granddaughter, Maeve. Yes, yeah, yeah that, that, that baby. Yes. Um, she's due for another round of shots, and they want to be prepared for it. So they're looking for infant Tylenol. But there's, did you know there's a shortage? So what I need you to do, go whenever you're out, could you please look? We can't find it anywhere. But don't say anything because we don't want everyone to go out and take the infant Tylenol. Like, you don't think everyone... I don't want to stampede because I said <sighs> there's a shortage. Anyone with a baby knows about the Tylenol <laughs> shortage, Candy. Mm. It is a national story for sure. It's terrible. Yes. As a matter of fact... Uh, you know, I think this is helpful to you because we have such fine listeners and maybe, maybe, just maybe, one of them works in a pharmacy, Candy. That would be awesome. I would happily pay and it, it would be the greatest thing ever. So, so send yes. as, as much and as often as you can. We Listen, uh, we only require one bottle, okay? Let's not be greedy. We need one bottle of infant Tylenol just in case little Maeve has an issue with her shots, if anyone comes across infant, and it's got to be Tylenol or the generic, like, CVS Walgreens brand but Tylenol. But definitely Tylenol. Yes, yes de- not the ibuprofen, no. Uh, Advil, no. No, 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 no. It's got to be Tylenol. Uh, please uh, send uh, us an email, and uh, we yes. will gladly pay you for Absolutely, the and give you major kudos. That's right. You get a big, uh, big shout out like this. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Tim and Tony. Uh, and T- Tim and Tony are uh, the uh, the guys from Midway, from Midway Auto Candy. Yeah. Who uh, did fine work on my truck while I was in Delaware. Oh, okay. Yes. Um so, uh, as the story goes, you remember my truck uh, was showing uh, an empty gas tank, even though there was gas in it? Yes, I do remember. Okay. So, um, we took the minivan to Delaware. Uh, I went over because through a connection, through my radio station, I was introduced. Oh, although Tim says, by the way, this is crazy. Tim says back in the day, he worked on my wife's Mustang. Oh, that is back in the day. Way back, right? But through a connection at the radio station, I was uh, introduced to Tim at uh, uh, Marich's Midway Auto. And uh, I left the truck with him. And I got a call while I was in Delaware that they uh, put the truck back on my driveway and it was fixed. And they did, they, they put in a new fuel pump. They did, uh, you know, the inspection. They did Were the they oil change. Were they supposed to put in a new fuel pump? Yes, that was the issue. The fuel oh, pump it. was the issue. Ah. Um, and uh, they fixed, my, remember, my gas tank was being held up by a, a strap that my father-in-law uh, put on. They oh. put, they they welded a new uh strap a new metal strap underneath for the gas tank and uh so that's the most beautiful story i've ever heard um and tony is a huge i mean they are tim as well tony was like you know before he was uh, started work on my truck he's like oh i love the show i love you guys i listen to you guys all the time so uh big shout out to tony and tim uh who runs uh marich's uh, midway auto and uh you got uh you got stacy uh, there behind the counter and yeah they're they're great. They're great, Candy. So um, I'm so happy for you. Big shout out. Got a got a new uh, new friend on the Rolodex there. They're fantastic. Well done. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. No. It was uh, it was good. And I come and nothing better than coming home from a vacation, 
and your truck is fixed and literally sitting on your driveway. That's I good mean, service. Yeah, it was uh, it was awesome. Uh, today's World Hypnotism Day. You get into that at all? I could. I've not, but I could. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm... Uh... I know, it's a little scary messing with your head, right? Yeah. Um, it's World Braille Day today. I should learn that and sign language. Very I know, important. I had friends that go to sign language class. Mm -hmm. One did very, very well, and the other didn't do so well. So maybe it's like language itself. Some are very good at it, others are not. Listen, if you knew uh, uh, Braille and sign language, and if you knew uh, Spanish, and if you knew, you know, you'd have some really great jobs, Candy. You'd you have got that you'd, right. You you could be working, uh, doing, you know, but think about it, right? You need a computer person, and the you know, you have to be specifically trained to know what you're doing with computers. Well, uh, you know, sign language, oh, uh, yes. Spanish, you interpreting, things like that. I mean, mm -hmm. there is a real need for that type of stuff. Oh, there is, stuff, and you will always find work. They, Absolutely. They always looking for bilingual people that can do this sort of thing, and, of course, Braille and sign language. Yep. Uh, it is National Missouri Day today. Ever been? Have I ever been? I don't think so. Me neither. Uh, National Trivia Day. I love proving how smart I am with trivia, Candy. I know you do. I know. Yes. Uh, trivia Pursuit was big, big, big back in the day for me and everyone I played with. We took it very seriously. Nothing better than Trivial Pursuit and the little triangle wedges that you put in the, the thing. And... Very seriously. And it is National Spaghetti Day today, hey, Candy. Hey, who doesn't like spaghetti? Come yeah, on. we love spaghetti. I mean, come on. Why not? And the kids, I want spaghetti. Oh, yes. So cute. I'm more of a, an, an Alfredo uh, guy. Are instead you? Of, of course you are. Instead of the red sauce. Uh, Candy, before we get to some good news, I got to tell you this story. This is, <laughs> he calls it an accident, but I'd love to know what you think. 55-year-old man in Thailand accidentally left a roadside bathroom break without his wife. He says he thought she was in the back seat. They pulled off to the side of the road. I guess supposedly she was sleeping in the back seat when they hit the rest stop. Right. So they get to the rest stop. They both get out to use the bathroom. So Middle he knows of, that she did get out. Yes. Uh, the man comes back to the car, drives off, think, uh, thinking she's in the back seat. Right. He drove about 100 miles before he realized she wasn't there. The woman didn't have a phone or money, so she walked 13 miles to a police station. Wow. The police called him and said, uh, you can come here and pick up your wife. Can you imagine the conversation? Oh, I was just thinking about that. It would not, for me, it would not be pretty. I cannot imagine what uh, that was like, sitting in the car, driving home after picking her up from the police station. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, she walked 13 miles because he oh. her. Oh, yeah, quite the accident. Uh, Candy, a woman in Florida just got her engagement ring back 20 years after she flushed it down a toilet. Well, why would she flush it down the toilet? She's at the guy's parents' house right after they got engaged. She took it off to wash her hands and knocked it into the toilet. See, that's the first mistake. Don't take it off. Right. She cleaned out their septic tank looking for it back then. Never found it. Never found it. But a plumber last month while replacing the toilet found the ring. Oh, wow. I hope the they guys, paralyzed it. The guy's parents cleaned it up and gave it to her. They're still married. They gave it to hey, her. Hey, they're as still a, married. That's a good sign. As a Christmas gift. Can you imagine wow. that? Wow. Yeah. Know. That must have been thrilling. A woman in West Virginia named Sharon just got her wallet back 54 years after she lost it at a high school dance. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see the inside of that wallet. A contractor found it while renovating the building. How about that? I like it. Tracked her down on Facebook. Firefighters in Indiana saved a goose that got frozen to the ground on oh. Lake Michigan last oh. week. Yeah, they took it to wildlife rehab, and uh, it's going to be okay. Hey, lucky yes. bird. And finally, the owner of a pizza place in Scotland, starting the year by doing something nice. He knows money's tight. He's giving out free pizza for the entire month of January. 
all the pizza you want? He says it'll cost him about 14 grand, but he's I got bet. the money and he wants to do something nice for his patrons. Wow. That's that, quite generous. That'll keep you coming back, I would think. That will. Well done. Uh, Candy, I want you to have a good blood work today, okay? Thank you. Me too. Pray for me that everything comes out nice and, and good, all good readings, and uh, I get a good sign at my ear, nose, and throat doctor that uh, not much left of healing and onward and upwards. That's all. All right. Yes, to be discussed tomorrow for sure. Yes, and uh, I, I want your mama to feel okay with all that terrible dental work. Can you imagine stitches in your tongue? No, I want you no, to I leave can't. With that thought. No, no, thank what if you. We had stitches in your tongue. How you would sound? <laughs> Completely changed the show. <laughs> I would love to know. So uh, how are you? Candy, we might hit a record high. The record high today is sixty-four. Uh, we're supposed to get up to about sixty. It's going to be uh, rainy and cloudy. Let's hit the roads, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.